Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing method number 2, elementary method for solving the problems, problem number 1 and 2. Welcome back friends, now we will discuss method number 2 for equating or basically solving the equations. Last method that we discussed is Venn diagram. Now we're going to discuss the method number two that is elementary method. See, there are a lot of problems that can be solved by using both the methods by using Venn diagram as well as elementary method. But there are few problems that can be strictly solved by elementary method only. How? See here. If you observe this example, in this example, there is cross that is Cartesian product that we have already discussed. Now, how can you represent Cartesian product in Venn diagram? So if this is the case like cross and there are few other example also in that case you need to prove by using elementary method only but uh, here it is already specified use elementary method now we will go ahead with the elementary method let us start see first of all we will assume elementary method that means we are going to assume the elements let us assume x comma y belongs to LHS. And what is the LHS? This is the LHS. So let me assume x comma y belongs to LHS. See the procedure. It's very interesting. It's very simple. If you understand one problem, you can manage all the problems. Now we're discussing. Uh, let we are assuming x comma y belongs to LHS, and we'll prove that after solving three steps, we'll prove that x comma y belongs to RHS. We started with x comma y belongs to LHS. We will prove x comma y belongs to RHS. And what is the RHS? What does this mean? This means LHS is a subset of RHS. So this indicates this is your LHS is a subset of RHS. Because an element belongs to LHS, that element also belongs to RHS. That indicates LHS is a subset of RHS. Here what we'll do? we will assume x comma y belongs to RHS exactly the reverse process what we did here we assume x comma y belongs to LHS and we proved x comma y belongs to RHS here exactly the opposite procedure we're going to do x comma y belongs to RHS and we're going to prove x comma y belongs to LHS That means RHS is a subset of LHS. See here, LHS is a subset of RHS, RHS is a subset of LHS. That means both are equal. Therefore, A intersection B cross C intersection D equal to a cross C intersection B cross D. So this is the basic procedure that we're going to do. Are you clear with the basic procedure? What is the basic procedure? First of all, we'll prove X comma Y belong to LHS. We'll assume this X comma Y belongs to LHS. After solving few steps, we'll prove X comma Y belongs to RHS. That means LHS is a subset of RHS. On other side, we'll start with x comma y belongs to RHS. We'll prove x comma y belongs to LHS. Therefore, RHS is a subset of LHS. Since LHS is a subset of RHS, RHS is a subset of LHS. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Did you understand? No. Let's repeat the procedure for problem number two. Then it will be very clear. See, please tell me what are the steps. Let x comma y belongs to LHS. So what is the LHS? A cross B intersection C. And after solving this few steps that I'll tell you later on what will prove we will prove x comma y belongs to RHS a cross b intersection a cross c therefore LHS is a subset of RHS a cross b intersection a cross c therefore LHS is a subset of RHS Again, we're going to repeat the processor here. Process let x comma y belongs to now this time x comma y belongs to RHS. So that is a cross b intersection a cross c. So x comma y belongs to RHS. After solving few steps, we're going to prove x comma y belongs to LHS. So that is this. 
so what do you mean by that rhs is a subset of lhs LHS is a subset of RHS, RHS is a subset of LHS, therefore they are equal. So this is the procedure we are going to follow. So we are ready with the structure, what are the steps that we need to do. Now we just need to fill the blanks and we will get our solution. Are you clear with the basic funda what you are going to do? Now let us start. Now it is just a formality, let us break it down into two parts. Till this particular line, what we'll do, we'll simplify everything. We will simplify everything. We'll try to separate everything. So let's do it. Let's do it quickly. See here. We need to identify what exactly this means. See here. X comma Y belongs to this particular expression. Now, what do you mean by Cartesian product? Remember the definition of Cartesian product. What was the definition of Cartesian product? A comma B such that A belongs to A and B belongs to B. So this is the definition that we have already discussed Cartesian product. What does this mean? This A belongs to the first set and this B is from the second set. This is what we have already discussed. This A is an element from the set number A. This B is the element from the set number B that we have already discussed. Now we'll be using this definition here. C. what does this mean? It simply indicates that this is the first element X belongs to this particular set. Therefore, x belongs to a intersection b and this y belongs to c intersection d. This is the definition of your cross product. What next? We just need to read the lines and try to understand its meaning. See here, x belongs to a intersection b. What does this mean? It belongs to both. A intersection b means it belongs to both. What does that mean? x belongs to a and x belongs to b and what about y belongs to c intersection d y belongs to c and y belongs to d see this is the first step that we are done till this line we are going to separate and all we broke down all into single terms so this is the aim here after this line is done see we followed this step by looking at this i am going to giving you the trick so remember the trick and this problem will be very simple. For breaking down, we consider this in our mind and by looking at this, we did this. Now you want to come to this conclusion, right? So therefore, keep this in mind while writing down the second part. For the first part, keep this in mind. After looking this, you can write down this step. For the second part, keep this term in mind, then it will be very simple. So let us start. A cross C that means we want A and C together so here X belongs to A this is A and where is the C this is C and Y belongs to C we are writing this by looking at this okay so you need to remember this technique divide it into two parts upper part lower part and B and D together so where is B this is B X belongs to B and Y belongs to D see here X belongs to A and Y belongs to C what does this mean X comma Y belongs to A cross C x comma y belongs to a cross c that simply means x belongs to a and y belongs to c that is what written here by looking at this you will understand and x comma y belongs to what x belongs to b and y belongs to d that it means b cross d now see here x comma y belongs to this and x comma y belongs to this that means x comma y belongs to both therefore you see here x comma y belongs to a cross c and x comma y belongs to b cross d x comma belongs to both that means it basically belongs to the its intersection that's it done so therefore we prove x comma y belongs to rhs therefore lhs is a subset of rhs did you understand any doubt no problem don't pause this video let the video continue because there are a lot of uh, examples you will understand easily see first of all what is the aim we need to separate all the terms right and for doing it, we're going to consider this equation. So let us start. See here. X comma Y belongs to A cross C and B cross D. That means X comma Y belongs to C. What you need to understand the expression. What does the expression think? X comma Y belongs to both. 
x comma y belongs to both that means x comma y belongs to a cross c and x comma y belongs to b cross d both what is next now x comma y belongs to this simply means x belongs to a and y belongs to c and x comma y belongs to b cross d means x belongs to b and y belongs to d see here we separated all the terms now for writing the second part you need to consider this equation a and b we want together where is a see here x belongs to a and uh, we want b so where is b c x belongs to b and c and d together this is c and d this part is y belongs to c and y belongs to d x belongs to a and x belongs to b that means x belongs to both y belongs to c and y belongs to d means y belongs to both both means intersection now x belongs to this and y belongs to this what does this mean x comma y belongs to is cross that's it done is this clear yes or no now if you observe this particular part see i am giving you the another trick if you observe this particular part if you want to write it down just write it down thus in a reverse order you will get it see here see this expression this line this line is here what is the next line see this line is here this line is here this line is here this line is here and finally here so while writing down the second part no need to use brain you can simply write it down this in a reverse order and you will get your solution is this clear that we're going to follow in the next example so let us start with the next example purposely i'm taking two examples in the same video so that if you have any doubt that will be clear so let us start x comma y belongs to a cross b intersection c what does this mean this means x belongs to a and y belongs to b intersection c x belongs to a and y belongs to this now x belongs to a and y belongs to intersection intersection means both y belongs to b and y belongs to c so this is what we broke down all terms individually what next below the line consider this term think on this term and try to write down the expression now you want a and b together so x belongs to a and what is b b is here b is with y and y belongs to b and you want a and c together there is only one a that we have already used but since we want two a's we can write it down no problem why because see remember the union operation or intersection operation whatever operation a comma b comma b comma c here b is double that you going to write it down once or you can write down single term twice or two terms once so it doesn't matter or basically just focus here you will get it so x belongs to a and x be and y belongs to c because c is with y now x belongs to a y belongs to b it simply means x comma y belongs to a cross b and here x comma y belongs to a cross c now x comma y belongs to this and x comma y belongs to this that means x comma y belongs to both so that means x comma y belongs to a cross b intersection a cross c that's it left part is ready for the right part just write it down here in a reverse order and that's your story over see here x comma y a cross b intersection a cross c where is this just write it down from here in the reverse order you'll get the solution the next line will be this if you think on it also you'll get the same expression so no need to take tension you can write it down directly and you will get the result so this line i am writing down next what this line x belongs to a and y belongs to b and x belongs to a and y belongs to c next this x belongs to a and y belongs to b and y belongs to c next this x belongs to a and y belongs to b intersection c and finally this x comma y belongs to a cross b intersection c that's it let us uh, let us understand this if you write it down if you want to write it down properly but you will not write it down obviously you're going to consider it in a reverse order you get it still let's have a look x comma y belongs to this what does this mean intersection that means x comma y belongs to both next x belongs to a y belongs to b x belongs to a y belongs to c so this is done by looking at this you want a b and c so a i want once we have two a's but since i want one see what we did here 
there was one a and we considered two so that is fine so one you can take it as twice two a or two you can take it as one a so it doesn't matter so this is one a there are two a's we took it as one a because we want to found uh, we are considering this equation b and c so x belongs to a and y belongs to this and y belongs to this so y belongs to both x belongs to a y belongs to b and c what does this mean x comma y belongs to a cross b intersection c so that is it so very simple method by if you di directly look at solution somewhere in the notebook or textbook wherever you will never understand and you will think this is the most difficult thing in the world but trust me it's very simple you just need to understand and that's it you just need to write it on this reverse order that's it done the whole story is done hope you understood in the next video we'll discuss two more examples thank you